Hello everyone, a very warm welcome. This is a, a quote by a French writer called René de Marle, and he was one of the leading members of the Gurdjieff group in Fontainebleau at the Priory. He was a poet, a writer and a critic, uh, not widely known but very, very highly regarded. And his most famous work is a spiritual, spiritual novel entitled Mount Analogue. And it's the journey of a group of explorers who climb the highest mountain in the world and their escapades whilst doing so and the conclusions that they come to. That is called Mount Analogue by René de Maul, whose name you can see at the bottom of this quote. He worked with Gurdjieff up until his death in 1944 and spent about three or four years at the Priory. This quote, if anyone is actually questioning uh, the idea of working upon themselves and the idea of actually becoming, uh, this is the very, very best one I've ever come across. This is the ultimate way of thinking or idea which actually crystallises everything within the work that we are doing and the ultimate purpose. I am dead because I lack desire. I lack desire because I think I possess. I think I possess because I do not try to give. In trying to give, you see that you have nothing. Seeing that you have nothing, you try to give of yourself. Trying to give of, you, of yourself, you see that you are nothing. Seeing that you are nothing, you desire to become. In desiring to become, you begin to live. End quote. And in that final line of René de Maul's, we have the very absolute essence of all magic and of all transcendence and of everything that's worthy and joyful and truly deeply desirous. In desiring to become, you begin to live. <clears throat> so it's also denoting, if you don't desire to become, you're actually dead already. In desiring to become, you begin to live. And there's an often thought and mentioned idea within the fourth way system that we are actually here to do the purpose we are on this planet is to develop into another state of being and anything that pushes that forward or allows us to do so is an absolute uh, bonus beyond all description and it helps for us to see nothing is good or bad not to like or dislike to enter an altered state of consciousness where we transcend polarities not to like, not to dislike. And my encounter with Gurdjieff's nephew, also called, also called George, uh, I'll never forget one evening, he said to me, do you know what love is, Noel? And I said, well, I have a good idea what it is. He said, no, no, you don't. Uh, I'll tell you exactly what it is. I said, go on then. And he looked me directly in the face and he said, to love, to truly love, is not to like, and it's not to dislike, it's an altered state of consciousness. I was blown away, I didn't know what to say, for once in my life. And those are very, very profound words. Seeing that you are nothing, you desire to become. In desiring to become, you begin to live. How... Incredibly glorious to think that such people have existed and they're now part of our lives, whether René de Maul, whether Jean de Salzman, whether Shakespeare, whoever, but a different level has been attained. Uh, it's very, very beautiful. Very. Thank you very much for listening. And uh, it gives me great joy to share these with you. But this quote is to me and to I think to most people is the ultimate
you go through all the states of, that one may be in and their opposing states and the nullification of trying to do anything within these states until we reach the state that we see we are nothing. I am nothing, you are nothing who is watching this. Nothing at all. As Mr. Gurdjieff said, you're less than zero. And what is less than zero? Seeing that you are nothing, you desire to become. In desiring to become, you begin to live. You begin to live. And it's in that seeing that you are nothing that a great shock occurs. And Uspensky says in search, in, I beg your pardon, in the new model for the universe, uh, a tremendous work which he wrote just prior to meeting Gurdjieff. And he was travelling from India to London on a boat and he was looking out at the waves. And he became, in one moment, he became one with the waves. Waves. There was no separation. He was the waves and the waves were him. Objective consciousness. And he went on to write in uh, a new model for the universe. When I realised that I didn't exist, that I just imagined myself, life became very, very delightful and all my problems disappeared. A moment of silence to actually absorb it. And I got a comment from someone called, I can never get your title right, I do apologise. I may do this time, uh, Hoplin, Hoplin Rowing or something, on Melissa's video saying, very, very beautiful, uh, a note to slow down and actually appreciate things. Very, very nice to do so as well, to be like that. This will be, I think, I, I hope this will be my last quote on the screen video because I want to get back on the camera and actually start giving it oomph as I do. Uh, and my next film on camera <laughs> will be about my very, very first encounter with the teachings of Gurdjieff and Uspensky, which were given to me by a man called Michael Proudfoot. I'm going to try as best as I can to actually describe what happened in the the influence C that he radiated, but that will be on camera with me speaking to you as though you're sitting here in my apartment. Please take care of yourselves and continue with the work and never ever forget that there is something else. We can't see it with the naked eyes. Uh, it's nameless, it's formless, but it's it's real, completely real. And connection to it, as René de Moore says here, is the ultimate we could ever wish for. Lots of love to you, and thanks again. I'll be back very soon, as is my want, obviously. Bye, bye for now. Bye.